Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day number four of 14 days of Valentine's Day looks. As you can see in today's look, I went a little bit, you know, more on the creative side. I wanted to explore with some graphic eyeliner and just other things just so all the looks wouldn't look the same. So I hope that you like this. First, let me tell you what eyeshadow palette I used to create this look. This one is from Colourpop and it's from their 2021 collection. This one is called 143, which stands for I love you. One for I, four for love, because the word love has four letters and you three, because the word you has three letters. So that's the name of this eyeshadow palette. If you have it, you know, here is an idea of what you could do with it. And I also use the glitter, obviously not on my eye area because glitters are not safe for the immediate eye area, but I use it a little bit like a, a glitter highlighter. Um, it's not my favorite thing, honestly, but I mean, hey, we're here for the creativity. So before we jump into the video, hello, my name is Carla and I am a makeup enthusiast that loves to create looks and have fun with the makeup that I already have. I occasionally buy new products and I review them for you guys, but I'm mostly into project pants, shop my stash, and just in general creating things with makeup that, like I said, I already own. So this is no exception. This eyeshadow palette has been with me for two years and these are my Valentine's Day series where I am showing you different looks that you can create with eyeshadow palettes and makeup collections from previous Valentine's Day seasons. And also any other eyeshadow palette that fits the theme, you know, the whole reds, purples, and pinks. I am coming up with those kind of looks with those eyeshadow palettes. So if that is something that you are interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And now, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so like I said, this is a 5 pan eyeshadow palette. And here we have the shades Ah, oh, Cutie, My Boo, L-O-M-L, which stands for Love of My Life, and Love. Love, but with a L-U-V, which... It's hard for me to pronounce. I don't know how you'd say that. But I'm going to grab a Morphe M332. This one is a fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab the shade QT. I'm going to tap it. And I am going to run it on my crease, but a little bit above of it. Like, not so much. And guys, if you see some glitter, it's because I still have the glitter from uh, the look that you watched yesterday. But this is the look that I just did before this, you know? I was actually not going to record it anymore because I was full of glitter and I kind of wanted to wait till tomorrow to see if more glitter would fall out. But you know what? Not every day you have this many days off to work on your YouTube channel and this time off, basically. Uh, why do I have time off? Well, here in Texas, we are going through a winter storm and of course we are not prepared for that so and i think i said it already i don't know if i said it in yesterday's video but basically what it's happening it's that it's raining a lot but the temperatures are just freezing so everything is freezing and it's full of ice we have layers and layers of ice so yeah guys school has been off for the past for the past three days two days Two days and tomorrow is going to be the third day but i'm pretty sure that by friday we're going to be back at school i was like i said just building this up and i think i went a little bit overboard with it so i'm just going to grab this powder brush and clean a little bit the edges okay i think that's good yes now i am going to grab a white liquid eyeliner i have here the ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Graceland and wish me luck guys that this looks like this or that this looks like this I should say let me grab my mirror because this is gonna be fun let's see okay I think we're doing good so far. And now from here, I'm going to bring it up. <sighs> okay, let's see. I have so much glitter, it's not even funny. Okay.
Mm. I think that's good. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, I'm doing my best, but I really cannot talk while I do, so I'm sorry. Okay. There it is. I think that's the best I'll do or I'll get. Okay, I think that's the best that I'll get. I think that definitely on this eye I made it a little bit thicker than the other eye, but hopefully we can fix it with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to grab a flat brush and I'm going to apply this shade, of course, the one that I cannot pronounce, the shade Luff, 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 whatever. This one, I'm going to apply it, like I said, on a brush and I'm going to slowly start just Pressing it over here on the eye. Just gonna try to define the area. Basically going from the end of the eye. Basically just going from the end of the eyeliner to my inner corner. And right now I don't care that it doesn't stick a whole lot. I'm just mapping the area. And then later on you can apply your, what is it called? Setting spray so it sticks. Right now, like I said, I am just trying to make this as round as possible and to make it meet with the eyeshadow. Same thing now. <laughs> now here comes the fun part because I am going to do the same over here where the eyeliner is. I'm going to try to fill this part without touching the eyeliner so we can keep that white eyeliner. Let me see. I'm going to move to the side <laughs> and again just being very very careful to not go over the eyeliner i mean you can always put some more eyeliner back on but it's going to start turning pink because of the eyeshadow so that's that's what i want to avoid oh has a fuss okay and now over here at the bottom i like to do this like in an upward motion just so i don't touch this of course i already touched it it's fine All right, I'm just gonna fill this up because I don't want too much. Uh. Okay, let's see. Again, just very carefully filling this up. Again, just very carefully filling this out. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Just, you know, just make sure that it's colored inside. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to grab my finger my index finger and I'm going to apply some on it and start patting it so it intensifies oh wait let me look forward so it intensifies a lot more just 
just patting all over the lid. I am still not touching this area. Um, now I am. I'm going to play a little bit more, and I'm just going to be very careful over here. I can just tapping motions, being very careful with what I just drew. And if you go over it, you can just clean it up with some um, concealer. That's what I had to do on this side, because I did go over the line. And of course, had to trace it again, but that's why I did the first the, this eye first. That way I would practice and I could tell you later on like better tips to to not make the mistakes that I made. Okay. Okay, I think that's I think that's it. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna trace this again. All right, guys. Now let me go back with the water eyeliner. I mean, with the liquid eyeliner, <laughs> and I'm just going to go over this side. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna blend up here this part with no product. And with my pinky, I'm gonna grab this shade Aw, this one right here. Actually, this mirror is from this collection now that I remember. And I'm just gonna apply this Aw shade in my inner corner. As you can see, nothing on the bottom lashes at all. Like, this is just it. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab the cream gel eyeliner in the shade Exit, which is the white one. And this white eyeliner, I made sure that it was right here where my wa where it connects with my waterline. Because I'm, I want to create the illusion that it just, you know, it keeps going in, into my eye. And apply some of that. Gonna play a little bit more on the other side. But as you see, guys, this is what I was talking about. It just creates the illusion that it goes from your waterline to outside of your eye. I don't know. I just really, really like that. It looks really cool, I think. But okay, guys, that's now that is it for the waterline. And now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the shade My Boo, this one right here, which is the glitter. I'm just gonna tap my finger here and I'm gonna start tapping that on my cheekbone as a highlighter and I'm gonna go up here a little bit and just keep tapping and tapping and a little bit more over here and just tap 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 and if you want to you can tap it over here but I just don't want to risk anything falling into my eyes. Okay, I don't know what happened, but it looks like my monitor got stuck. But I just checked and it is still recording. So I'm just going to keep going and hopefully everything is, you know, within the frame. But like I said, guys, just keep, you know, tapping. I feel like I applied more glitter on this side than this side. So I'm just going to apply a little bit extra over here. And I'm going over here up to... And this is pretty much it, guys. Now you can just apply some mascara, some lashes. I'm probably not going to apply lashes, but I will apply some mascara. So give me one second and I will be back whenever I have the mascara on. All right, guys, I am back. And this is the completed look. I only applied some mascara and this lip gloss that I know it's from Pixie because of the lid, but everything else is erased. So I I have no idea what lipstick or what shade or anything this is actually some there's something in here you know what it might not be it might not be pixie i don't know guys some random lipstick that i found in my collection basically <laughs> um but yes guys like i said that is it i just applied 
mascara on my top and bottom lashes, the lipstick, and that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this type of looks, if you like more creative looks with some graphic eyeliner or some, I don't know, eyeshadow placed in a different area than your usual you know eyelids and bottom lashes let me know so i can create more of those for you like i said let me know in the comments down below if you like this look and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching day number four of this valentine's day series and if you like this type of content make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any single one of my videos and i will see you tomorrow for day five bye guys